My name is Rachel Foss. I am a graduate of the culinary program here at Grand Rapids Community College. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a cookie decorating kit and some of my favorite tips and tricks uh, that I would do if I were decorating it at home. The cookie decorating kit is going to come with eight different cookies in a bunch of holiday themed shapes three colors of royal icing, which is an icing made with egg whites and it hardens when it's exposed to air, and a couple of my favorite holiday sprinkles and um, extra piping bags and some other fun tools to use when you're decorating your cookies. What I would start with is taking whatever f color icing you want, starting to flood the cookies. Flooding the cookies is the method that we use to get a smooth single layer on each cookie. Before you flood the cookies, we try to create a little barrier so that the icing doesn't fall off the cookie. And you can do that by cutting a really, really, really small hole in your piping bag so that only a small amount comes out. I would recommend doing this and outlining all of the cookies before cutting your holes bigger to fill in the outline. Uh, if you were to cut the hole too big, that is why we have included extra piping bags so that you can put the icing in a new bag and cut a smaller hole if you would like. I help guide my icing bag with my non-dominant hand so that I can get a smooth line when I am dragging the icing along. And I'm just going to go around the perimeter of the cookie to create that barrier so that the icing does not fall off the cookie. And I would recommend doing that to all of your cookies in whatever colors you want before moving on to filling that in. Once you want to fill that in with the desired color, you can then cut this piping bag tip just a little bit bigger and slowly go around and fill that in just like a coloring book, trying to stay within the lines. The icing that we have included in your cookie decorating kit is a sort of medium consistency. It's not too thin, so it's not going to go all over the place. And it's also not too thick, so it uh, doesn't create a smooth surface. If you would like to separate sections, like this little Christmas tree, do the outline first and let one layer harden for about an hour and then move on to doing a second layer so the frosting does not blend together. This first layer I did on this cookie hardened for about an hour and then when I did the second layer and as you'll see with this layer These two sections are separate because the icing is not blending together. If you want to create some patterns in your frosting while it is still wet, you can actually add details to it. So on my Christmas ornament here, I want to add a little zigzag type pattern. So I'm going to take this green frosting and put it on top of the red frosting while the red frosting is still wet. And I'm gonna create three horizontal lines straight across. And then to create that zigzag type pattern, I'm gonna take something pointy like this knife, or you could use a toothpick, and drag the wet frosting through each color to create a pattern. And the frosting will stay this way while it dries. 
and you've got kind of a fancy Christmas ornament design that way. If you want to do other designs, you can add details to your cookies when they are totally dry. So on this Christmas ornament that has been drying overnight, I could add something like a snowflake by creating a little asterisk type shape and then adding points to each end. And as I mentioned before, I would recommend doing details like that on top after it has set for at least an hour, just so that it doesn't sink in to the wet frosting. Feel free to decorate any of your cookies with the sprinkles included. I really love these tiny snowflakes on bright colors like the red and the green frosting. They show up super well. Those are some of my favorite tips and tricks and I hope you enjoy decorating your cookies with your family. Thank you so much. <laughs>